fun. The Old Man the Boat is side sounding like a rejected Ernest Hemingway title, this deceptive sentence is indeed grammatically correct thanks to some well-placed homonyms multiple words that share the same spellings but have different meanings. Homonym number one here is old, in this case being used as a noun meaning old people, like how you might say, youth is wasted on the young, not as an adjective modifying man. Homonym number two, as it happens, is man, used here as a verb, meaning to serve in the force of. With that in mind, here's what the sentence is actually saying, the old people serve on the boat. May they take the sentence and sail far, far away. 2. The horse raced past the barn fell. Everything is going hunky-dory until that fell at the end, huh? At first glance, you'd be right to think that raced is the main verb of this sentence. But it's not. The simplest form of this sentence is actually, the horse fell. Confusingly, race past the barn is being used as a sort of adjective phrase to tell us which horse we're talking about was it the horse tethered behind the barn who fell, or the horse raced past the barn? Of course, the sentence would make way more sense if it was written the horse that was raced past the barn fell, but the quirks of English allow us to remove certain conjunctions like that and still maintain meaning, the way you might say the person I love instead of the person that I love. Long story short, the horse fell hopefully on top of whoever invented this sentence. 3. The complex house is married and single soldiers and their families. Similar to the old man the boat, the trick of the sentence is figuring out which word is the verb, and which is the subject. At first, it seems like houses is the subject and married is the verb then you get to in single, realizing too late married and single soldiers is a big adjective phrase. Even more confusing, complex seems to be an adjective modifying houses, which makes sense logically and linguistically to us. But it turns out complex is meant as a noun here, as in an office complex or sporting complex, and houses is the verb, meaning to shelter so. The non-confusing way to write this sentence would be, the building shelters married and single soldiers and their families. Or, to cut out the redundancy, the building shelters soldiers and their families. Basically, a needlessly complex way to describe on base housing. 4. The prime number fewer her. Prime is being used as a noun representing prime people the same way the old represented old people up above. Number is our verb, meaning amount to. But our brains are so used to seeing prime number as a noun that it's hard to separate the two on first glance. In other words, there are few prime people around. The same goes for linguists. 5. The man who hunts ducks out on weekends. When you see hunts ducks your mind probably jumps to duck hunting. But actually, ducks is the main verb here, telling you what the man who hunts does on weekends. In other words, the man who hunts, animals, ducks out on weekends, or, the hunter sneaks away on weekends. 6. Until the police arrest the drug dealers control the street and Invisible comma belongs somewhere in the sentence, but it's hard to know where. Can you pass this comma quiz? Your first inclination is probably to take until the police arrest the drug dealers as a single clause, but that leaves no subject in the remaining control the street. The answer, until the police, make the, arrest, drug dealers control the street. 7. Fat people eat accumulates come. On, you're practically an expert at solving these now. Fat is the subject, accumulates is the verb. Simply put, the fat that people eat accumulates, in their bodies. Thanks for taking a stroll down the garden path with us.